Well, howdy, partners. We're here in a brand new demo that's playing live on Steam's Next Fest. Woohoo! Saloon Simulator. Sorry, got very excited there for a little bit. This is a game where you can have your own saloon in the wild, wild west. Will we see some bar fights? Will we just be a normal barkeep? Who knows? Let's hop in. As you can see, there's no options in the game, so let's see how this is going to go. In the beginning, this place is not what I imagined. Starting a business here is going to be a challenge. Well, yeah, it's a challenge no matter where you go. There are no options in this demo at the moment. So, whatever we see, we see. Whatever we get, we get. Sounds good. All right, in the top left, it looks like we have $2.50. And by golly, that is, that is quite the amount. All right. Go to the old saloon. Uh, I take it this is the old saloon. Blueberry. Blueberry saloon. Find a way to get inside. Where's my gun? Uh. Ah. Hoo wee. Man, what a crap hole. What? A when you have the trash bucket in your possession, you can collect garbage found in the saloon. Press F. The bucket is part of your inventory tab. Oh. Okay. So we got... Uh... Find a bucket. You find a bucket. Oh! Found a bucket. Pick it up. Oh yay, now we get to clean up our place. This is a fun game. Fun game. Nothing like having to... Do chores. Right now people are going to be playing this game and they're going to have a whole bunch of trash right next to their computer and they're not going to pick it up. But in game, in game they'll pick it up. It's heaven, heaven forbid. Alright, that has been all picked up, ready to rock and roll. Now we need to, we need a broom. Where's the broom at? Aha! Ooh, we got some cash right here. Five dollars. That's a lot of money back then. <laughs> I love it whenever, every single time. I was, oh, we'll clean this up. Where someone's like, oh man, just want to give you a heads up. Three dollars back in the old day was like a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, okay, what is it now? You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? All right. By picking up a piece of furniture or other saloon furnishings, press F. You can place them anywhere. So F is like the universal key, apparently. Ensure order by positioning chairs next to the tables, providing your guests with a spot of uh, spot to enjoy their drinks and meals. Meals? I mean, I gotta cook for these people? In the full version of the game, you'll have the freedom to customize the saloon's decor according to your preference, allowing you to create a perfect ambiance. Oh, yeah? Get out of town. Gotta set these table, these chairs up here, you know, just in case if someone breaks out like some poker or something like that, man. More, 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 more money. I like it. Pop you down. And in the old west, you never want to have your back to the window. But in this game, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're, we're best friends with everybody. Nobody hates us. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Yeah. Emphasis on the yet. I wonder if you could start a whorehouse. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a, a brothel. A brothel, not a whorehouse. Well, how to do? It's shaping up just nice. Yeah, that it is, brother. Talk to the stranger. Whoa, whoa, first off, it's not okay. Stranger danger? Stranger danger? The saloon is attracting a variety of visitors. Well, we just have one. Engage in conversation, press F with some of them, and uh, discover the reasons for visiting. It's an opportunity to connect with blueberry locals and passing travelers. Yeah, but what if I don't care about them? What if I just put their money? When you stand behind the counter and select the appropriate take order icon, you can start preparing orders. Uh, first let me go talk to this guy. Howdy, partner. Well, well, you've done a fine job setting up, Butterfinger. Excuse me, watch your tone. I must say them rat hobble, uh, rat hobbles on the threshold caught my eye. Oh no, it's my business what happens to this place. Is it now? We both know that ain't true. You've forgotten our agreement you made with the uncle. Of course, I'm sorry, there's always some uncle. I know him and I, and I also know he'll be mighty disappointed if you don't handle sensitive matter right quick. There ain't a moment to lose. Tell uncle to screw off. Why should I trust you? 
Who are you anyway? They call me W. And as long as you run the saloon, we're tied together with tumbleweed and the dust from. Ugh. Do you understand each other, Butterfingers? No, no, we do not. The name's Cheyenne, and I don't think I need to listen to you. 100%. 100% Cheyenne. I know your name and uncle knows uh, what's going on here. He hears and sees everything. Quit wasting our time and follow me. Hold on. Taking me upstairs, bro? Some schematics. Got posters. Ew. I'm sorry, I can't keep coming back here. Um, I don't have all my shots. It's probably a good thing. Probably. By God. Are you kidding me? That's a fresh corpse. No exaggeration with the freshness. He's been lying here for about two hours. Come on, there's nothing to admire. Help me clean him up. Clean him up? Should we call the lawman? This is murder. If we get rid of the body, there won't be any talk of murder. Besides, the town doesn't have a sheriff yet. Whoa, oh, oh. Well, can we be the sheriff and the bartender? Saloon master? Lawcracker? He's lying dead. Do you have uh, such things? Stupid questions. The thing about this is that everything's kind of moving a little bit quick when it comes to the text. Some text is slow, and then the others, not so much. All right. Find a rag. Yeah, that'll, that, that's all I need. Just a rag. Guess I gotta clean this up. Alright. Thought you'd be peacefully serving drinks to wealthy oil men? Not so fast. The rag you've acquired will come in handy for wiping away bloodstains. Alright. Clean the room. Evidence of a crime. See the crouch. Everyone's getting syphilis around here. I wonder why. Using an old rag. Hold on. Excuse me while I put this in the back of my pocket. After picking up the body, press F. You can bring it to the mortician and place it inside a coffin. The mortician will compensate you with fair payment for each body. Oh, well, in that case, let's kill everybody. The full game version of the rewards for your services won't be limited to monetary compensation. Oh, really, huh? Well, I like that. Sorry. Sorry, sir. You... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Kevin Costner in the bodyguard. I found a dead body. I found a dead body. And I will always love you. I just got copyright strike. All right. Over here. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a box I could throw this? I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, you got a box I could toss this guy? Oh, perfect. What's up, Morticia? Morticia. Mon ami. What a surprise. You're one of them after all. One of who? What are you talking about? I was just here to run the saloon. And you ended up carting around dead bodies. This one I know. He was pouring drinks before you. Welcome to Blueberry. I'm Casey O'Hara. Well, hi there, Casey. Nice to meet you. They call me Cheyenne. Are you working with W? Accusations like that can land you in a coffin, you know. Now listen, deal is simple. You'll get a cut of the profit from whatever I manage to find with the corpse, clear? Sure. I'll take his boots, though. It is how it is. Don't beat yourself up as long as you're not the one lying in the coffin, everything's fine. Well, I'll have to remind that. Or remind that, remember that. Remind that, remember that. All right, let's talk to W. Saloon's not even open, and I'm I'm throwing dead bodies in there. Done. Great. I'll wait for the final act with applause. I'll fill you in on your new job when the time comes. You do that, W. Or watch out if I get a gat. It's a rat for you. Just relax, Cheyenne. You'll hear a whistle and see me at the window on the other side of the terrace. That's a signal. You'll head to the barn. Understand? All I'm going to do is put my whistles together and blow. You, a whistle, the barn, whatever it means, so be it. I guess I don't have much of a choice. Well, no, you will have a choice once we get a gun. You're making a good assumption. There's a chance you'll live a little longer. A little, little, little bit longer. Longer than a previous owner? Ha ha ha. So Casey spilled the beans, huh? 
couldn't help it. Drinks were slipping right through his hands. Do you know that in a situation like that, I always like to get myself a stone fence. Okay. Are you talking about a drink or do you need a stable? I'm talking about a drink. How will it be, partner? My hands are trembling, W. Oh, so now we get to finally be a bartender after we, uh... Oh. Check the drink the customer has ordered. A stone fence. The information is displayed at the top of the screen in the bottom left corner in the uh, form of a list, which will guide you through the proper steps. Drink glass, two ounces of whiskey, one ounce cider, add ice, mix together with spoon. Ah. If anything goes wrong, you can restart the whole process again. All right, so we got a drink glass. Select the appropriate type of glass from the circular menu, left clicking and drag it to this, the, uh, the table. Then press next step or D to shortcut. All right. All right, next step. Choose the main ingredients for the drink, which is the alcohol. Take it from the circular menu on the left and drag it over to the glass to start pouring by pressing enter or space bar. All right, so we need whiskey. So enter or space bar. Really? Whoa, 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 to make sure you got the perfect drink, look at the checklist below. Right. Oh. Little dash, there we go, there we go. Some cider, drop that in there, and we need one ounce. There we go, add a little ice. Some drinks require special additives, the bitter or honey. This one doesn't. So press the next step to see what I- that's- that's what I did. That's what I did. Next step, we need some ice. Finish a drink by adding last touches. Or touches. Haha, <laughs> according to the checklist, just like in the previous steps to see your possible actions, check the list in the down right corner. I can only imagine- hold on, you can check at every ingredient in this place, consulting your checklist if everything is in order. You should serve the drink to the uh, customer, pressing the finish drink button, grab the finished drink and place it in the special field in front of your customer. Uh, well first we need some ice. Add ice, mix together with a spoon. SPOON! Look at that. That, my friends, is a stone fence. Hold on. That's what I needed. Good. If I'm going to make more of these, I'm going to need more supplies. Don't worry about that. I know a reliable supplier goes by the name of Jack. I'll let him know to start making trips of blueberry again. Oh. You'll find everything you need in one place. Okay. Much obliged. No problem, partner. I reckon we won't need, need uh, be needing any more stone fences made for me. Well, good. Get out of here. Pleasure to meet a new owner of once famous Blueberry Saloon. Okay. What a weird guy. What a weird, weird guy. Saloon can be uh, either open or closed using the information board located in the front of the main entrance. Press F. Closing the saloon may be necessary at times to fulfill important tasks within a specified time frame. However, in general, keeping the saloon open tends to yield more advantages. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like Gas Station Simulator where they have a whole bunch of things they have to do at once. Like, for instance, I got this rag right here. We gotta clean this bar. We gotta, sh we gotta spruce it up the joint here a little bit. I mean... We are not a pig sty. Alright, well, what do you say we open up this joint? Make a couple drinks, make a little cash, do a little dance, make a little love. Get down tonight. Well, I'll be darned. Time to rock the business. Serve the guests and wait for the Trader Jack. Trader? Stupid traders. Let's close this up. Oh, oh. Miss a spot. How to do, partner? A shot of gin? Alright. Start making the drink. Got some shot. We got that. Let's get a little bit of gin. I'll drop that in there like it's hot. Two ounces. There you go, sir. There you are. Sir, how you do? What would you like? A shot of whiskey. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. 
drop it in there like it's hot. Go to the next one. Whiskey. Pour it in. Boom. And then we go ahead and we serve that bad boy up for you. Tell you what? Why, well, thank you, sir. 14 cents. Thank you kindly. Do not want to spend any money. Well, you got it. What's going on there, trader? Are you the barkeep that W was talking about? Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, sir. In the flesh. So you're the decent uh, supplier W mentioned? Well, I wouldn't say decent. Is that so? Well, I'm in need of some good whiskey. Can you manage to rustle me up some? You betcha. Just tell me what you need. Whiskey. Fire water. All right, so you can now order alcohol from Jack. Simple, simple Jack. Simply approach the checkout counter, interact, and choose the desired liquor or other assortment. The purchase items will be instantly displayed on the corresponding shelves. In the full version of the game, the wide range of liquors and additives will be available for you to mix in uh, as you please. Additionally, the way Cheyenne unpacks purchase uh, goods will be altered, giving you more control over the arrangement. Okay. Go to the cash register and order one bottle. Where's the cash register at? Oh. One bottle of whiskey. Confirm. Just like that. Oh, and one of gin. One gin. Talk to Trader Jack. What you got, man? I already know you're going to be my favorite customer. You're going to make... Well, we're going to make quite a team. Making money hand over fist. I hear you, brother. Jack, for now, I got to focus on selling the first batch. You got to succeed, Shay. Shy. Shay, shy. I mean, uh, you'll definitely make it. Say, could you pour me another? Probably need Jack. Just need a little refreshment, that's all. I've always had a soft spot for gin. One gin for our nervous Jack, coming right up. Oh, so he wants a whole glass of gin. Oh. Pour it up, pour it up. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. There you go, sport. Enjoy yourself. Pardon me. Ah. I don't know, man. I kind of dig this game. I mean, it does need more work, obviously. Optimization. This is, once again, a demo. Early, super duper early access. That's the reason why you're seeing a little bit of probably screen tearing. You want to buy a shot of gin? You got it, sir. Start making that drink. Got some of that gin. Uh, you're up next, everybody. Shot of gin. More shots. Everyone wants shots. Everybody wants shots. <laughs> it's like, just a little dusting, a little dusting, a little dusting. What's going on there, partner? What you need? What you need? Whiskey sour? I got your whiskey sour right here. All right, so whiskey glass. I got some whiskey. Got four ounces of whiskey right here. Boom. And then we add a little bit of lemons. A little bit of lemons. Beautiful. And then we add some ice. And then we take a little spoon. We stir that bad boy up right here. I'll tell you what, that is, that is a, I'll be darned if that ain't the finest whiskey sour you have this side of the Mississippi, bro. Ah, make the first meal for the game. First meal. 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 Oh, there's a whole kitchen back here? Uh, everything seems to be in place. Let's see if you can whip up something. See if I can whip up something. Biscuits in the skillet. Take an order for a meal. Uh, okay. Hard biscuit stew. All right, so in addition to serving drinks, your responsibility 
includes providing delicious meals. The kitchen is equipped with everything you need to satisfy the hunger of any guest. How do you feed a hungry man? In the full version of the game, you will have the option to order food products for cooking at the cash register. I assumed. Well then, guess I'll go grab a pot and place it on the stove. Grab that. Put on this nasty, dirty stove. If you want to cook something for your guests, you need to check the ingredients into your uh, your dish first. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, to do so, click the book icon near the circular menu. Okay. Oh, and then all of a sudden the uh, music cuts off completely. You can close the cookbook uh, now by pressing X at the top right corner. Okay, so we need to track the recipe. After you decide which recipe to use, drag ingredients from the first category and drop them into the pot. Then use next step button to check other ingredients. Remember to check your ingredients with the checklist or else you will end up with slush. Okay. Uh, add fresh beef to the pot. Done. Two crunchy hard tacks. Hard tacks. Got carrots. Look at that. Some cayenne pepper. Spice up with shine. Oh, look at this. Perfect. All right. Finish cooking. Uh, all right, so get ready. Now you need to apply heat to your dish. Maximize the frame clicking enter or space while the cursor is over the green flame light. Be careful clicking there. Okay. Ah, mini games of mini games galore. Oh man, look at that. Price 69 cents. Woo -wee. Perfect. 10 portions. This is going to skill it. Grab a plate and fill it with the finished dish. Oh, right here. Fill it up. Man, do I have something that is delicious for you, sir? There you are, man. Yeah, eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right. Attend a few customers. How about 10 to a few customers? I swear, I've already been doing that. I've been doing that the entire time. Got these cobwebs just keep on popping up, though. It bother me. I mean, I'm just trying to just trying to live out here. There you are, sir. You have yourself a fantastic day. Accept the order. What you got? What you got? You want a whiskey sour, sir? Well, I'm right, coming right up. I tell you what. Let's go ahead, whiskey. I used to be a bartender for six years in a resort town. Let's bring me back. There we go. We got some lemons. Crushing it, ice. Booyakasha, there you are, sir. This is my money. Mine, sir. Hard biscuit stew. All right. Ten, up to ten servings. There you are, sir. Enjoy that with your hands. Hey, excuse me. Oh. Oh. Um, guys, guys. Oh. Two men enter, one man leave. We must fight to the death, otherwise they will kill us both. A hell of a fight right there. Phantom hands, what's... Uh, sir, are you alright, sir? Are you okay? Oh, so he's dead? You killed him? Oh, we gotta take him to the doctor. Oh. Can we just call the doctor to come on over? Where the hell's the dock at? Take the beaten man to the doctor. Oh, there he is. Hey, doc! Can you help me with this guy? Can you? Oh, this ought to sober him up. Jesus. There you are, sir. How's it, how do you do, sir? Your face, you got something on your face, like all over it. Like, like you've been working on the railroad or in a coal mine. They call me Cheyenne. Do you have any patience uh, here, Doc? Uh, do I have patience? 
All I need is a little patience. I specialize in removing bullets and fitting artificial teeth. Good. If you find someone injured, bring them to me. I'll patch them up and get them back on their feet. I can't pay you, but the town will be grateful. And so the people will, uh, so the people will say, you know what? Good. See you around, Cheyenne. See you, Doc. All right. Everything's cleaned up. Everything's nice and buttered up. How do you do, sir? Howdy. I'm Cassidy. And welcome to the place where dreams come true. <laughs> right here. Right here. Is that what you say? They call me Cheyenne. And for me, the towns look deserted. Or the town looks deserted. It's all appearances, my friend. Just appearances. Blueberry holds a hidden treasure. I can sense it. You look like a sharp young man. You must feel it too. Uh, not quite sure myself. Uh, what do you do here, Cass? You seem to have a have quite the insight. The only real job there is, with all due respect, I'm a gold prospector, and I own the local open pit mine. I didn't know Blueberry had gold. Pay me a visit sometime, and you can help me with the mining. Oh, I can help out with that too. Oh, I have a business to run, sir. I have a special machine for it. Just need to fix it up. We'll split the findings. Oh, will we now? It doesn't sound entirely fair. It doesn't. You're right. We can work out the details later. Don't let it bother you. Now listen. Could you make me a drink? A gin cocktail has been on my mind, but there's one catch. Yes. Until my machine starts producing, I won't be able to pay with uh, any money. Well, then it looks like uh, you're not going to get no gin. Yeah, what can you offer? If you make a drink just the way I like it, I'll have a special gift for you in the future. <laughs> I would like a cheese... I shall pay you Tuesday for a cheeseburger today. Oh, okay. In the full version of the game, you'll encounter individuals who will offer you unique items instead of money in exchange for their favorite drink. Whenever you come across such an opportunity, you can trade your drink for a special item. These special items can serve various purposes, such as aiding in completing a mission, acting as a souvenir, or becoming a, a unique decoration for your saloon. Okay. I like that. But dang. All right. Get a drink glass. Want some gin? He'll get some gin. Two ounces. Looking good. One tablespoon of sh sugar syrup. Okay, two dashes of bitters. One bitter dash. Two dashes. And then we'll add some other enamels. And then we'll add some ice. And then we'll have a spoon to stir it all nice. For gods. Woo! -hoo. I can't believe it. See, it's too quick. I didn't even see what it, I didn't even see what they said. I didn't see what they said. Each blueberry resident has his or her own drinks. Of course. What the hell? Don't have any blooming onions. Nothing's Australian. Outback. Get it? Why? So, is everything in this town garbage? How's business going, Cheyenne? I heard from Jack the supplies are flowing. Don't mind, uh, don't worry about it there, buddy. Can't complain. Same as always, I want to help with your business. See that wagon over there? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the dead body? Jesus. Do I even know what to <laughs> know about that? Oh, trust me. Oh, I thought there was another dead body. I use this barn to dismantle stolen carts. You can make a good profit from it. Just be careful and clean up any traces thoroughly. That's where you come in. Oh. It's simple. I'll keep watch while you dismantle the wagon and hide the parts in the hay. And if you happen to come across a treasure chest, try opening it. If there's a body inside, we've got that covered too. Alright, so now we got a crowbar. Each card consists of multiple parts. Select the crowbar. Okay. in the hay. Oh. Alright. And look at all this money that's on the ground now. Goodness. This is pretty good cash. That one's bugging. Just picking up all the loose change. Except for that one. It's bugged. Bugging. Now we have a chest. And a dead body. All right. Look at the bloodstains. 
First things first. Oh, well, let me get the cash first. Do you remember that overzealous recruiter, Hank Custer? Yes, the one who boasted about his preference for old-fashioned drinks with cherry and uh, pice of lime, uh, lemon? Ooh. Claimed the criminals from Georgia to New Mexico would tremble at the mention of his name. What a despicable character he was. I'd hoped they would reassign him to a wilderness patrol, where perhaps a scorpion in his shoe would mark his end. But alas, fate has other plans. It seems he is destined to arrive in the remote town of Blueberry to maintain order. I urge you to assess his performance and provide him with the clear instructions on how to fulfill his responsibilities and uphold the state's business. Uh, okay. I take it that's the, uh, the sheriff? Is that the lawman that we were looking for? W, we have a problem. According to this letter, the sheriff is on his way to town. Seems like this guy here, uh, was sent to assess the situation. <laughs> well, he's assessed if you get what I'm meaning. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. Well, oh, hey, w, W's got, he's got my jokes. See? The joke, he's, he's a joke killer. He's a joke killer. We need uh, to act as fast and take care of the body. Oh, okay. We have $116 now. Blueberry has a new sheriff. Your actions will now be closely monitored, so be mindful of his reactions to avoid getting in trouble. When the sheriff visits the saloon, you can distract him from his duties. Simply serve him the appropriate drinks to lower his anxiety level, Sheriff Star. Oh, Sheriff Star. If the sheriff catches you transporting a corpse, there will be consequences and you will be punished. Stay vigilant, my friend. Uh, okay. Get rid of the body at the mortician. Alright, so we gotta look both ways before we cross the street. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I said get rid of it. I see the state sheriff star here. Uh oh. I hope both of you and W know what you're doing. I share the same hope. We need to ensure they're hidden hidden well. Yeah, yeah. As the sheriff will be arriving in Blueberry soon. Cheyenne, you've brought changes to this town. I trust you've got what it takes to be I've literally been here for twenty minutes. You brought changes to this town. Have I? The sound of the railroad carries many meanings. It signifies various events and opportunities within the town of Blueberry. It can indicate the arrival of new residents, the arrival of fresh goods in the store, or the potential for additional tasks related to the town's growth. The railroad is a vital connection to uh, that brings life and opportunities. Seek life. New civilizations. Head to the saloon and wait for the new sheriff. Can I hire somebody to clean this place up? Uh oh. Howdy, howdy, Sheriff. Barkeep, you are the reason I ended up in this in this here hole. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm just trying to run my business. I don't get in anyone's way. I, I've been here for 20 minutes again. Well, what's your name, anyway? Cheyenne. No, it's Diesel. Uh, how many times I gotta tell these people? Listen, Cheyenne, my name is Hank Custer. Okay. And I'm the new sheriff in town. They sent me here because rumor, uh, rumors reached the authorities that the town is starting to thrive. Whose fault is that? Again, I, don't, I couldn't tell you. You mean to say it's credit, right, Hank? For you, it's Sheriff Custer. And let me tell you this. I want there to be an order here. The sooner the town is seen peaceful, uh, seen as peaceful, the quicker I can get my promotion. Word. I won't interfere with the sheriff's work. You have my word. At least until I get my gun. And then we'll have a shootout. And damn, Cheyenne, think of me as a leader of the Wolfpack. As long as you obey, you can feel safe. Now show me what kind of drinks you can pull out, of, uh, pull off here. You want a rusty sheriff's badge, aka uh, a butthole? A rusty sheriff's badge is another euphemism for buttholes. Uh, drink glass. <laughs> now you learn something. That's the reason why you come here. That's the reason why you watch the channel. All right, five dashes of bitters. Two, three, four, five. Man, that's a lot of bitters. Two tablespoons, and we gotta get some lemons. Drop that in there. Some cherries, you're fancy, sir. You are fancy. It's literally everything in the entire bar I have put into this glass. And you're welcome. Well, 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 Cheyenne, you surprised me. You've managed to find the cherry on the top of this ruckus. Again, I'm the best. I told you, Sheriff Custer, I'm not uh, getting in anyone's way. Just conducting my business here. And let's keep it that way. And if I see you causing any problems, we'll quickly fall out of favor. And do you know how, what wolves do to those who get in their way? What? 
I assure you, Sheriff, you won't have any issues with me. Very well. Mind your mind your mouth, sir. One more thing. Come see me once I've settled in here. I have something for you. Now it's time for me to leave. Don't stir up any trouble. Uh buy new tables. Tables, tables. All right, replace the tables in the saloon. Oh, nifty. So we can preset. Oh, that's cool. How about custom? Oh, nice. Okay. So we can actually have custom colors in here? That's pretty that's pretty dope. Big fan. Yeah. I still don't know how to get rid of the trash though. There we go. Change the equipment of the saloon to your liking. Replace smaller furniture by pointing okay, so go to the decoration tab and check it out. Store and buy the furnishings you want. Or at least you can afford. Change the equipment of the saloon. That's it. Nifty. I actually really enjoy this. The short adventure concludes what the developers of the saloon sal uh, simulator had to offer for you uh, for now. Stay tuned as you delve deeper into the secrets that the Old West holds. In the full version of the game, you'll have the opportunity to renovate the saloon with a wide variety of decorations, furniture, and fixtures, breathing new life into your establishment. What's, uh, what's more, you'll discover the blueberries place full of interesting inhabitants, tasks, puzzles, just waiting for you to solve and explore. P.S. Have fun with customizing your saloon. Do not forget to share with us some screenshots. Customization. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is actually pretty wild, man. Especially if you are able to straight up customize your jam bar cabinets bar cloths skip the tinning and flame uh building saloon walls oh okay saloon floor no skins just yet. Well, pretty cool, man. I dig it. I dig it a lot. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below, because that, my friends, is going to be our video for today. This is a wild game. But yeah, man, this is a wild game. Pretty nifty. Link is in the description down below. You add it to your wish list, or you can download it yourself, and you can actually keep on going, I believe. But uh, I think that all the customers are done. That's a wrap. It is a little bit, has some jank to it, has some optimization things that have to go along with it, but I like that you can customize your bar, you can make the, uh, make the drinks a la like uh, gas station simulator or cooking simulator a little bit, but everything's on the fly. Pretty nifty. I like it. But folks, like I said, that's going to be our video for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some my channel ever so much more you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification, be aware of all the new content, everyone. Peace out, I shout y'all, and I'll check you out right here again in Saloon Simulator next time.